So this mare is for sale. She's just nice. Just finished our session. I put a rug on her. Um, and uh, look at her. I love that. She's just so sleepy and so good at all that learning she's just done. And so relaxed. Beautiful. Not stressed. Happy to be in the round pen. I like that her mate out there, she's also for sale, we're going to get her in now. Is very relaxed as well, so that's good. Lesson for both of them. She's might leave, she don't have to stress, and I'll swap them over, so she gets to self-soothe on her own, and she gets some work. Really nice, these are four-year-old mares, really sweeties. This one's very sensitive, hardly have to touch her, she really thinking mare. Trusting mare, both these mares want to be with you. Day, day three for these mares, the new mares, and we're going to just start using stuff that I'm going to use. And I'm riding like the mountain block, and she's pretty big anyway, so I, I need it, just is helpful for me <laughs> being a short ass. So, me, I'm one using a bit of feel to move her feet and direct her. Just because the last couple of days, we've just been, I've just been building a relationship with her and building a bit of connection. Um, bring her in here, like putting a pattern on her, literal, we're going to film today. Everything I do relates to the riding, to, my, to the saddle work, basically. I build a connection, they all get a chance on the first day to have a free day with me where I'm trying to build connection with them and they get the chance to hook on. And that's day. Sometimes it can leak into the second day, but by the second or third day, I need to start putting the patterns I need on them. And it's only a few that I have to, say, use the flag with or whatever. And I know people don't like the high-pressure stuff, but sometimes for safety reasons you need it like that other mare um she was just a little bit worried coming from the paddock to the round pen leaving her friend um new environment new people and uh, it upset her a bit but instead of just listening to me and being calm she was too worried about the environment and she's just too big a mare to be running all over me so i gave her three days and on the third day she still wasn't connecting up so she needed hey girl good girl she needed to come in here and and i needed the flag basically she doesn't need the flag this one does not need the flag whatsoever because she's really sensitive and i only gotta touch her or wiggle the rope her and she you know listens but sometimes they're very pushy either pushy or very scared and they just don't notice you and that's when it becomes dangerous, especially when they're big and I'm so small. They can just run over me, push me over, and it's just not, I just, it ain't gonna happen. So that's when I have to bring the flag out sometimes and uh, get some respect off them, basically, and make them notice me. Otherwise, they're gonna hurt me. And they don't mean to, it's just they're too worried about everything outside of me basically they're too worried about looking around and not exactly doing this basically like she's just stood and this is the first time i've jumped on the mountain block with her but again this is just really good she sees me come up she's holding a bit of tension there makes a noise i'm gonna touch her she can come girl it's okay there you go good girlie just good so I'm working the mountain block while I'm grooming her because she is a dirty bird do me a fiver can I have a couple of steps forward yep follow the feel right good that'll do that'll do that'll do that'll do that'll do yep that'll do good girl thanks are you gonna be all right with that on you like that yeah it's okay your eyes look okay good girl don't go anywhere got you if you do i do like this mare this mare is going to be for sale as well what are you looking at 
What are you looking at? And I'm just about to be careful that she don't spook at anything and knock me over at this point. So let's just see if we can just back her up. In here. Oh no, yeah, good bend. I like it. Can you back up a little bit, bird? Back. Back. Good, thank you. Perfect, perfect. So this mare is for sale. She's four. And I believe she's a paint cross fusion. I really like her. She's super sensitive, but not silly. Um, I don't have to use the flag on her, as I've mentioned. So what we've been doing, we're on day three. So let's just remind of the stuff that we were doing yesterday. What I want is her to bend her head and neck. Good, lovely. Fingertip feel there. Yeah, she struggled with this yesterday because she wanted to move her feet. Good girl, you are so clever. You are. You know, can I back her up softly? Beautiful. Oh, there's one. Where's your mind? Where's your mind? Where's your mind? It's getting heavy. Swipe right there. We go. Good girl. What a good girl. Can you do me another couple of steps? Oh, beautiful. Good girl licking the lips. Very good. <clears throat> good girl. I like that I can just lead her and she stays behind me. And this for me is a massive quality that she's not pushing into my spice. Well, she is a little bit, but I only got to do that and stop her. But she's not being silly and whatever. I've got to stay in the perimeter of the camera for this. Do your legs, sort your legs out. So yesterday we started driving her. Everything we're doing <clears throat> is going to be relative to the saddle work. Continue the circle driving that we started yesterday. It's a lot for them to learn at the beginning because we're putting multiple, it looks simple just to drive them around a circle, but really it's a lot for them to take in. Um, <clears throat> I like it that she's already bending her head and neck and not moving her feet because yesterday that slightly worried her. So we're going to go back to the driving. Oh, she's carrying herself. Good. So she's carrying herself further this time. Very good. She's looking at the pad. We'll get to that in a minute, girl. It's all right. It's on another eye. That's why she looked a little bit funny. Good. And I'm very conscious of not pulling. This is good. I don't want to block that forward motion. But again, she doesn't really know the right answer. Like she might do it correctly, but she probably don't realise that she was doing it correctly. Because this is a lot of pressure for them to take. So, whoa. Nice. And a lot of people say, well, why aren't you putting the hind movement on? I could do, but I can get it done. So now I want back, back, back. That's it. There we go. I don't particularly need to. That's what I'm trying to say. I want her to use her brain and figure out where those open doors are. Good girl. So, whoa. Let's see if she can run through it. Okay. Oh, oh, she's trying to run through it, so I'll just bump her there. Now we've got the hind. Find that open door, mare. Good girl. Very good. Very good. She's licking her lips. Whoa. Whoa. I might just let her soak on that. Good. Good. Good girl. <coughs> good. I love that. Well done. We're going to start doing some different stuff and see how she reacts to it. So, can I put the rope on her? She's already getting used to the rope when I was driving her then. I had to put a bit more pressure on her than I did yesterday, so that's nice. Again, I don't want her to freak out. This could be your rain on the other side going around her neck. This could be the fender swinging over from the saddle hitting her. She very, looks very comfortable. Could be my leg up there hitting her on the butt there. Good. So what I want to do is start getting her to feel for this rope. Good girl. She's licking her lips. I've got to watch for them big legs because I don't know her too well. So let's see what she does here and see if she works it out. I'm going to help her really easy at the moment so she can feel the rope on her butt. See if she'll come off that feel. Good. Good girl. And again, I'm going to just walk here because I don't want her just to follow me, basically. So when I come back here, 
I don't want her to just, because I'm coming back here to, to start turning, I want her to feel for that rope, you see, with me. Because I don't want her freaking out. I never want them to freak out. I'd rather just spend a little bit more time suggesting than go all the way round and ask her to come round and then she don't understand and she freaks out and she gets the wrong answer. It's my job. See, here we go. So she went to... So now I go over on the bum. She's anticipating. That's fine. She's clever, aren't you, girl? You're listening. You're trying for me, and I like that. I don't see that as a wrong thing. So here we go. Let's see. So I'm on the other eye a little bit. Good girl. Feel the feel. Feel that rope. Feel that rope. So oh, she's getting a she was a slight bit of trouble then. She could have got into. Good girl. Feel that rope. She thinks back up. Good girl. Oh dear, that was. I say a complicated one. Oh dear. On a different side now. I don't want her to follow me. She's watching for me. Bless you. Good girl. Looking for me. Good girl. I know. What puzzles am I going to put you in? Wait. I'm going to rub her butt. Just so she's not scared of me. Oh, look at that face. I love that face, man. That's like... Okay, let's see here. Follow that feel. So she's a little bit stuck. It's all right. Let her think about it. Come on. Wake up. Sometimes they do that. Like they're going to fall asleep. Come on then. Good. Good. Good girl. Good clever girl. I'm really happy you kept yourself together there. Well done. Our new thing for the day that we're going to introduce today. What do you think of that? So I always let them check it out. Especially mares. Have a good little look at it. Little look at it. Yeah. A little sniff. Can open. This might scare a little bit. No, good. Again, I'm very cautious. I have so many different horses in that that just me opening that flap could uh, freak some of them out. You'd be surprised. So I've got my, see? See, just that. It's okay. Now we're going to touch it on her. Oh, she's going to lick her lips. Sorry, my bad. Go get ahead of the guy. You lick your lips. Yes, this is Pat doing. What a good girl. Now, she can have a rug on stuff, so she shouldn't there. She's licking her lips. So this shouldn't be too much of a bother. See, she's looking at it. That's fine by me. It's touching her. She can investigate it. Good girl. Yeah, you're so clever. So I'm going to open it up. Oh, there we go. Oh, that was a nice and easy, wasn't it? That was nice and easy. What are you doing with your legs? Yeah, you can look at it. Well, look at it to the one from the other side. Good man. Put it on the other side. Oh, it doesn't want to come off yet. Good. Can we have a look at it the other side? Oh, it's going to change eyes now. Change colour. There's different colours on it. White on the inside. Green on the outside. She'll notice that. Rub it on her. Again, we're on a different side here. Let's fold it up first. Give her the best chance. There we go. What's that about? So it's nice and rubs you. So then we'll pop it on her. All right, there we go. There she just blinked. So old logged her. Oh, she's going to lick her lips as well. Good girl. I wanted to have a little look at it. Yeah, well, let her look. That's all right. It's not going to kill. Good girl. Can have a look? So not quite of explore if exploring it so much this side. But that's okay, it's, you know, not many things get done from this side, that's why I'm doing it. So is oh, what's going on? What are you doing? What are you doing? Where are you going? So again, just rubbing her, that's not the right answer I wanted. She's like, what are you gonna put on my bed now, Nikki? It's all right. I'm actually not in the best position here, but whatever. So I'm going to put the rope round there. I'm going to put my self here and just again, like as if it was the girth. So the rope's under her belly. Her eye, if she's licking her lips. I'm literally just putting it on her belly, taking it off, and then I could just squeeze her with it a bit. What's that? What is that? Okay. Yeah, good man. Come here, because you can't see from that angle. Come here, because you moved. 
Come here. Stay. Move your foot over. Oh, that's it. Do you want to move that one over? Because it's not very comfortable. I'm going to rub her so she doesn't move. That's a good girl. I'm going to flick it over, like it would be the cinch anyway. I'm going to go and get it. There we go. So basically, there you go, she's licking her lips. So I can put a bit of pressure, a bit of pressure in there. She's like, oh, what is that? What is that? You felt anything like that before? Her eyes really sweet, I like it. So I can just rub it around there. I can see. And just pull her a little bit. She's not worried about that. She looks like she's going to sleep, actually. So again, I'm just putting a bit of pressure that way. Ooh, what's that? Again, she can move. I don't mind her moving now. Her eyes really sweet. Absolutely fine. So I could tighten it up like I was a girth. What is that? Yeah, what is it? I'm going to tighten it up. Let it loose. Good man. Do it the other side. So blow that over there. Get the girth. Tighten it up. Here, tighten it up this side. She's not that bothered. So loose, tight, loose, tight. So she's just already getting a feel around that area. So I'm going to pull her over here a little bit, see what she does. Wake her up a bit. What's that? What am I doing? See if she'll come to me. So if you come to me, there, good, good man, very good answer. But already I know that she's, you know, not going to freak out and she's not bracing against anything like this because I've already started doing this sort of stuff and teaching about pressure and release. So if I wanted to go over there, she'd go over there. <clears throat> like that. If I want her head to go over here, she just follows the feel of my hand which again is I'll start playing with that on day one but free and then if I want her to move her hind see there is something in there I mean, she just sort of but she's sensitive so if I want to move her hind I'm going to help her out a little bit what's going on over there what come here come here something's happened over there so I'm going to just stand in front of it what did you see nothing a bird. So she's not blinked yet. Okay, there she blinked. So can I get her attention? Just got to watch here because there's something she's seen. There we go, her eyes gone soft again. Good girl. So again, I want to be able to move this bottom or move any part of her. So that's my hand. I've got to bend her a little bit to help her. Bend her a little bit to help her. There we go. Okay, and the shoulder, and we push it over here. I'm going to help her with the head collar. So I want this leg. Good. Yep, yep. Suggestion. That's it. Good girl. But this is just pressure and release training. So this could be my leg. But I wanted to start that. It, just following that pressure I put on her. See if she'll do the rib cage just out of interest while we're playing with this. So I'll block that front door. In fact, I might hold her here just to help her. I'm going to push her on the rib cage. So her open door's over there. Let's see how clever you are. Come on then, over there. See how she works it out. <gasps> oh, good. Good try. Well done. You are very clever. I like you. What a, what a great dressage horse you'd make. Come on then. Are you going to lick your lips? Do you want to be, have a little minute to process all that? Have a little minute then. Well done. 